Can I also just say something about the sheeping of, of the people in this world right now with what this all this ridiculous shit that's happened this year? Mainly the Shmiref and the Shmen Shmemeth. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. On today's menu, a very homey plate with molded carbs. Hello and welcome to today's play of food. Yes, you heard it right. Molded carbs, rice, and scalloped potatoes. Uh, it looks a little strange, but that's because it was just in a package containment unit in like the hot and ready section of the grocery store. And uh, it just came out like that. So we'll break it up and see what we got going here. But yeah, I just wanted like a really like homey style feeling meal. Scalloped potatoes, amazing. Whatever's in this rice, I've yet to find out. It's the rice of the day and a half chicken. So I'm starving, ready to get into it. And uh, you know what that means. That before we do anything more, we must pour. So we've got a lightly used bottle of Pepsi here. I don't know how much fizz we're gonna have. She's a couple days old. Might be semi-flat we're still getting some fizz so we're in good shape and as you guys already should know i've got sauces on the side of me right now bbq ranch and ketchup inaugural taste she's nice and now we go in what's the first thing that we do I personally think it's this rice because I have no idea what's in it and I want to see what the deal is with it. Yes, that is very congealed. But you know what? I actually don't mind that. And to be honest, I really don't mind that mainly for the reason that rice usually is very difficult to collect all its individual pieces and uh, you know get it in your mouth but it seems that there's peppers oh shit it would seem that there's red peppers carrot peas obviously some different seasonings mm -hmm. it's good though all right, next up, scallop potatoes. Gotta love a good scallop potato. All thinly sliced, all mandolined out. Cream, some cheese in there. Mm. Mm hmm. Scallop potatoes are legitimate. So I got this from the, like the hot and ready section at the grocery store, which shout out to that. I swear those, uh, the hot and ready side of the grocery store is, doesn't get, doesn't, doesn't get enough love, doesn't get enough shout outs because they do make some pretty banging food. It's fairly priced. And it just makes life so much easier. Your average working man, mom or whoever with the family, like you just get off work, rip in there, get some dinner pickup, feed the family and be done with it. So much extra time and effort involved in planning, prepping, cooking dinner, all the dishes. This stuff just boom, boom, done, container thrown out. Watch yourself a little TV and go to bed.
<laughs> you guys knew I had to do it. You guys knew I was going to be super white about it, right? You had to know there was going to be ketchup coming on these. And it's good. It's the same thing as french fries, really. It's potatoes. No? You would put ketchup on your french fries. Don't lie. All right, moving on. This is what I was really mostly hyped for. You, your guy was craving some rotisserie bird big time today. That's really where my head was at. So I'm extremely excited just to tear a piece off this tender, tender bird and dunk it in barbecue sauce. Kind of crispy. But that's where it's at. Rotisserie chicken is... Just a magical creation. That right there. That's exactly where it's at. I gotta say, rotisserie might be the most superior way to cook chicken. I just love how it falls apart. Tell me down below how you feel about rotisserie. I'm lost in the bliss of it. It's not good right now. Can I also just say something about <clears throat> the sheeping of, of the people in this world right now with what this all this ridiculous shit that's happened this year? Mainly the Schmeirev and the Schmen Schmemmeth. But sorry, I was in the grocery store. I'm cool with the mask. I'll wear the mask. I put it on basically just to go in places and take it off immediately after. I'll wear the mask. If it makes people feel safe and comfortable, cool. I'm down. To do my part. But. I was in the grocery store. And you know like when you're headed somewhere. And you realize, like, oh, no, wait, I gotta go back this way. And you, like, check up, stop short, turn around, whatever. I did that, and I got into, like, a... A movement altercation, sort of, just with a lady, like... She had to kind of veer her cart or whatever. And she was like... Didn't you see the... The arrows on the floor. And I was like, no, first off, I didn't because I don't pay attention to the floor. I look ahead. I gotta look where I'm going in this life. I'm not looking down at the fucking floor. Uh, secondly, and sorry, these arrows are to indicate which way you're allowed to travel in stores now. Uh, 
Secondly, didn't you notice I'm a sovereign being in a public space and I'm free to travel in any direction I want? This isn't the road. We aren't in a speeding weapon, okay? We aren't in a vehicle here. These are our bodies. Still a vehicle for the soul. But like, we're in a public space. You can go up and down itch which way, unilateral, bilateral, horizontal, fucking vertical, whatever you want to do, up, down any aisle you want. Like it's, that's, that's being out in public. But now with this disease, They've literally got us trying to, to, to control which way we can walk down certain aisles, what path we need to take in the grocery store. And in my head, I'm just like, Karen, if I pass you three feet going this way, that way, or any other doing circles around you, if I pass you and I'm three feet close to you because we're in a grocery store, um, it doesn't matter which way I'm going. You know, but that's the thing is like, I can just see this slow progression of like this control and this loss of like sovereignty happening out in society and people just adhering to it. I was blindly adhering to it. Like, don't forget to follow the arrows. That's the only way you're allowed to travel down this aisle. You can't go, you can't turn around and go down that way. You have to go all the way around. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I refuse to be told I can't, like, freely move in a grocery store. Okay, I understand keeping the space. I understand the mask. Cool. But outside of that, like, it's time to, uh, time to question some things, you know what I mean? We can't keep adhering to these fucking These rules that are just herd mentality, just herding us up like cattle. Just being led to the slaughter, I swear. This is crazy how some people are so down to follow it. When it clearly makes no sense. I haven't changed anything. We're in a grocery store together. We're around each other, no matter what way we travel, you know? So, that's my rant for today. <coughs> I just couldn't be <coughs> believe she'd even make reference to that. About me going the wrong way. <laughs> Out of control. One of these ones again. Eyes way bigger than my stomach. Just completely overestimated how much I'd be able to eat. Somehow I'm full off of that. Like six bites of rice, same amount of potatoes, and a breast of chicken. Weak, very weak. I thought I'd be able to mash a bunch more of this. Not the case. I think this lady's energy threw me off. The whole, you know, thing I just talked about. I think that really energetically kind of killed me. Like, killing, killed my vibe, killed my appetite a little bit. I can't lie. I think I just got in my feelings a little too much right there. But they're valid. Certainly valid feelings.
tell me if any of you are dealing with this ridiculousness out in your your world where you live. Just some people being way too much. But I'll wrap that one up here uh, until the next one, probably tomorrow, quite honestly. Uh, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. <laughs> Stay true. It's Black Hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.